Hi there, my name is Sean Fowler and I've been a professional 3D freelance artist for over 10 years in the industry and I would like to welcome you to my course, Learner's Guide to 3D Character Creation. A new course dedicated to all levels in teaching the process of how to sculpt and retopologize 3D characters all within ZBrush. For this, we will be sculpting a fun character challenge theme, the Cyberpunk Hacker Girl. Now, to that end, we've crafted a course that will deliver two unique learning workflow approaches in teaching character creation by affording you the opportunity to showing you how to sculpt in either split screen mode using models we supply to you for aid and comparison, or a more traditional approach of 2D orthographical reference images in every piece of clothing as you progress, which we will provide and show you how to import and set up in Spotlight. With that said, some of the concepts and features we offer you in this course are as follows. For beginners only, we start off with a quick section breakdown to the basics of ZBrush so no one gets left behind before starting. Illustrating important concepts of how to navigate through the viewport, accessing throughout the main brushes of ZBrush, as well as set you up with a customized starter pop-up menu for you to access all the necessary ZBrush functions within for creating this character. Next will illustrate how to create your own base mesh from scratch. And in addition to that, we'll be supplying you your own course learning base mesh, yours to use as a bonus option to be used as many times beyond this course. Now, other concepts you'll learn is how to pull layers of geometry off of a base mesh to sculpt a full body of clothing of this character, as is done commonly in the industry pipeline, and we'll go further in where we take you through creating seams utilizing some fun combinations of features in ZBrush, such as group loops and masking and inflating. Now, from there, we're gonna move on to the face, where we demonstrate our process of sculpting and establishing the basic shapes of our anatomy and sculpting through a simple incremental lesson by lesson approach to establishing and completing the results you see. And from there, we'll push your subject piece forward to a detachable face you see in our finished product. Now, moving on, we'll show you some basics of fiber mesh and some of our techniques in using this built-in hair system to not only create hair separately, but also apply the hair through the gizmo transformers. Now, once your mesh is complete, we discuss retopologizing and various approaches that can be taken, such as a manual method through edge extrusion versus an automatic method, such as zero mesher. Then we reveal how to transfer high res details onto the low res through the history recall brush. And lastly, we'll finish off our subject piece by transposing your character as well as exporting a T-pose of the low res and high res, which can be reused in other 3D softwares for purposes ranging from rigging, animation, or games. Now with that said, by the end of this course, you should have a fully sculpted out character complete with the high res along with a low res exported out and ready for texturing in an upcoming sequel course that goes into the 3D texturing discipline. Finally, it is my hope that by the end of this course, you should have a strong foundation of confidence in sculpting 3D characters through ZBrush as well as a strong understanding to the importance of retopologizing characters and how it relates to the 3D character creation pipeline. So, with that said, let's start sculpting. 